Welcome back to another Weezer Wednesday. This week we'll be taking a look at Weezer's fifth album, Make Believe. Once again, I'll be going track by track rating each song as good, neutral, or bad, while giving my short thoughts on each song. After each song has been rated, I shall give a final rating for the album itself, so let us begin. First up on the chopping block is one of Weezer's most successful songs ever, Beverly Hills. There is nothing wrong with a fun, simple song, but it's incredibly simple and boring. I did enjoy the bridge, but it doesn't last long enough to elevate this song. For me, it's just a mind-numbingly bland track. Honestly, the more I listen to it, the more pissed off I get. I hate this, it's a bad track. If I wanted to listen to a song with a stomp-stomp-clap beat, I'd rather be listening to The Joker by the Steve Miller Band. Our second track is Perfect Situation. Now this is a huge step up from Beverly Hills. Lyrically, it has a good intro, the guitar solos are pretty good, but the chorus is Cliff Racer Ass. For the outro, they should have repeated Perfect Situation more instead of the O-O's. The entire song feels like a refined green album track. Despite some minor faults in the chorus, I'll give this one the Dagoth stamp of good. Third track is This Is Such A Pity. To put it bluntly, this song is boring, but isn't outright terrible. Finding anything exciting on this track is the real challenge. I enjoyed the brief guitar solo, but the entire song feels safe and tucked away. This is going straight to the neutral pile. Fourth on our review is Hold Me. I enjoy the slow buildup of emotion on this track that eventually explodes and overflows the listener. The lyrics are pretty basic, and I can see the song getting more boring on a re-listen. If Hold Me had been the ending song on Blue or Pinkerton, I think it would have more acclaim. Before it gets too boring, I'll allow it into the club of good songs. Our fifth track is Peace. This is a good track overall. Weezer even made the whoa, whoa, ho part sounds good. My biggest complaint is the song feels like it wants to end on three or four occasions and keeps going on. If I wanted to be blue balled like this, I'd search for element 119 on the goddamn periodic table. But I like this. Here is your Dagoth good song stamp. Our halfway point is we are all on drugs. I think this song is ironically good, like it's so bad that it's good. The song isn't about Khajiits being moon sugar addicts or the Argonians' addiction to being the lowest life forms on Tamriel. It's about society's need to be hooked on something at all times, just as you are addicted to me. 10 out of 10 best song ever. Ha ha ha. It's neutral. Next up is the seventh track, The Damage in Your Heart. At this point, I started to realize Weezer might be a part of the Shadow Wizard Money Gang. Maybe I'm going insane with these reviews. But this is a good emotional song. I wish more of Make Believe sounded like this in Perfect Situation. The Damage in Your Heart is an underrated Weezer song. Boom stamp of Dagoth goodness. I took a three-week break from this album review. I wanted to let these songs marinate in my mind and see how I feel about them later. Even with the passage of time, I feel nothing. Is this album just the dissonance of Weezer? We're only on the eighth track. There's still four more tracks, and I'm emotionally dead on the inside. Pardon Me is another watered-down, boring, sad song. Most of these songs aren't outright horrible, but goddamn do they put me to sleep. This is a hard neutral. I think five listens is more than fair enough. My Best Friend is our ninth track. No, I'm not referring to my Sweet Moon and Star Nerevar. I'm unfortunately referring to the Weezer song. Do I seem negative or unhappy? If so, it's because of this song. I enjoyed the lyrics and wholesome meaning behind them. But listening to this song with headphones on is painful, and I need to call out three people for this bad experience. Patrick Wilson, Rick Rubin, and Josh Abraham. Someone needs to talk to you three about this mistake, so please allow me the honor. The percussion from Patrick is too goddamn loud versus the music on this song. Josh did the mixing and did a shitty job of it. Swear to fuck you can't trust anyone named Josh to do anything. Now Rick, as producer, why did you let this shit slide? If the lyrics weren't so damn charming, this would go straight to the bad pile, directly to hell to be cleansed of its sin, but I'll allow it into neutral just for the lyrics. Before we move on, let me tell you one quick fact about this song. Long story short, Weezer summited this song for Shrek 2. Yes, the Shrek 2, but got reject in favor of Accidentally in Love by Counting Crows. Thank God. Once again, I can finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. The Other Way is definitely one of the better songs on Make Believe. Rivers sings about wanting to console his ex-girlfriend after her then-current boyfriend's death while questioning his motives for wanting to do so. It's a sad and lyrically mature song, but why did they make it so upbeat? Is it for juxtaposition, or is it because it's make-believe? The more I listen to Weezer, the less I understand. I think this will be another neutral for me. Freak Me Out is our second-to-last track. This is actually a good song, but feels out of place on make-believe, but in a good way? It's very calm and soft rock style could pass as a closing song. There is actual mood and ambiance here that most of the other tracks have been lacking throughout the album. This is another for the good pile. Also, this is the first time a harmonica was used in a Weezer song since in the garage from the Blue album. You have now arrived at your final destination. 
Haunt You Every Day is another boring melodrama ballad that overstays its welcome. I don't consider my time in this world as valuable, but I feel that the time spent listening to this song to be a total waste. Again, it feels like Freak Me Out was meant to be the closing track, and they instead included this as a joke. Just like Beverly Hills, this is bad and I don't like it. I'm glad to be done with this album. Twelve songs, five good, five neutral, and two that are bad. Whereas the Green album felt bland and afraid to take a risk, Make Believe was afraid to put any harder emotions into most of its songs. Most of these songs will either be forgotten by you upon listening or end up putting you to sleep from their mediocrity. I had to take a break from this review for the sheer lack of joy these songs delivered. Hell, finally sitting down and being able to take in the review makes me feel like all the good songs should drop to neutral. The neutral to bad, and the bad can burn. My top three tracks were Perfect Situation, Peace, and Freak Me Out. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more reviews, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I have no clue when I'll get around to reviewing the Red Album, but I hope the experience will be better than this. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.